Uh, Wilbur, uh, we are so looking forward to seeing you in Hong Kong, but I know that it's not your first time. Uh, when was the last time you visited Hong Kong and how many times have you been there? Uh, I've been about six times to Hong Kong, but I haven't been recently. I used to do a lot of diving and I used to go to Hong Kong on my way to the Philippines or wherever I was going to be. And also it's, it's a lovely city to be in. It's so uh, exciting and things are happening all the time. Last time was before 1997 or after 1997? Before. Just before. Well, yeah. you'll see, you'll see, there's no apparent changes, but you'll see a lot more Chinese because yeah. uh, every year we now have something like 50 million mainlanders uh, coming through and, um, and lots of them buying your books and reading your books in English and Chinese and so forth. And um, when I told uh, people that you were coming at, at the book fair and doing a forum, um, there was a chorus of huge cheer and, and approval. And, uh, and, and I hope that you will also enjoy uh, coming back uh, uh, and looking at the city. Um, now, you are one of those extraordinary people who just seem um, to produce Best sellers after bestseller in an effortless way. Uh, your latest one, Predator, has reached number one in the UK, in the US, in the universe, for all I know, on Mars. Now, uh, have you ever thought that you've done enough and that, you know, I'm, I'm finished? I, I now, it's now very boring for me to reach number one. I think that after every book. And it takes me about a month or so to get my breath back. And then, oh boy, that worked. <laughs> Let's do it again. Well, uh, I love doing it. Uh, it's my meat and bread and the breath of my lungs to write books. And uh, I have been doing it now for 50 odd years. So it's, it, it's, I know what I'm doing. I think, I I think we all know what, what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, it is extraordinary. But, I mean, obviously when you come to Hong Kong, people will be asking you all sorts of questions about uh, writing and so forth. Um, and, I mean, I just asked you that question. You have now published that book. It's now a month or so. So are you already starting on the next one? I mean, are you spurring yourself on to get the next bestseller going? I just delivered one. Oh my God! Three three days ago. Oh God! When is that going to be published? Very soon, because Harper Collins are very excited about the book, yeah. and they're talking about twenty uh, seventh uh, of September. Fantastic! Well, so you have I take that as a great compliment. <laughs> have you had two bestsellers in the same year ever? This, I hope this is going to be. <laughs> well, I was, I'm sure that it will be. So it will be double happiness, yeah. which is a very common word in, in Chinese. So your coming to Hong Kong will give you very good feng shui uh, to get to that. Um, sure. Now, Hong Kong is, uh, we are very lucky. We're a very modern city and, uh, and it's very exciting, as you know. People are very diligent um, and they are great uh, geeks in the sense that everybody has a mobile telephone, everybody's looking into a computer. So it's a great city of technology and rush, rush, rush and so forth. But I remember reading something you once said. You said that you feel actually to be living in the 17th century or you like to think that you live in the 17th century and that you have no interest whatsoever in technology and then you do not want to go around life, rush, rush, rush. Rather, you want to leisurely go and smell the roses and the buffalo dung. Now, um, is that still your view? And how are you going to manage when you come to Hong Kong? I said that a long time ago. Oh, really? <laughs> things change. Oh, things change. <laughs> it's yeah. surprising how often and how quickly they change. Um, no, but what I do, writing books is a solitary business yeah. and I have to be on my own I have to live with my own thoughts for six months or eight months to get it done so it's different now a, a businessman reacts with other people on a day-to-day -day basis and you know to dozens of people 
I don't. I react with my characters in my head. That's a, or it's a, it's a sort of clandestine arrangement. Yes. Uh, having like having a secret girlfriend. But oh. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful. But <laughs> it might turn into a reality. Um, no, no, no. <laughs> but I mean, technology, do you type with a typewriter or do you write out your thing or do you have a PC or a, what is it? A that? PC, yes. PC, yes. So. But um, um, the first dozen books that I wrote were yeah. all longhand. And I've got the, all the manuscripts, right. you know, literally crossing out and... And, uh, and have you thought about whom you're going to bequeath that to, or are you just thinking about it? I, I have someone in mind. You have something in mind, <laughs> or somebody in mind, or some, some institution in mind? No, the person who I live with and uh, have well, been with my, my partner for a long time, but not long enough. Well, I'm, I'm sure that uh, we will greatly look forward to seeing all the manuscripts and so forth. Um, do you, where do you spend most of your time? We have a house here in London, yes. and we have another house in Cape Town. Yes. Uh, I had a, a, an island in the Seychelles, we yes. had this out there. Yes. But when I married uh, Nisa and I took her on honeymoon to the island, the f second day she got out of bed and she was like a a pink leopard, spots all over her. Oh I rushed her to the hospital and they said, you've got an allergy to coral. Oh, and well. it's a coral island. Well, that, so uh, that was it. it is, well, you we were, the, island. You were the, the King Edward VIII uh, to her, and you <laughs> gave up your island in yeah. order to live with a woman you love. That's uh, absolutely And right. I'm delighted that she will be coming. I think it's her first time, and uh, we can't wait to welcome you both, and in particular, Wilbur, we'll it is extremely generous and thoughtful of you to come to Hong Kong because I think you're going to cheer up a 7 million audience uh, in Hong Kong uh, from afar and from near uh, when you come to do the forum at the Hong Kong Book Fair. Thank you very much, Sir David. I hope very much that they're going to cheer me up as well. <laughs> there is no question that there will be a very loud chorus. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.